Many of you know that New York has been damn near decimated by the coronavirus. It has been really out of control. There are more cases in New York than there are in countries around the world. Well, this coming June, a thousand West Point cadets in New York will be coming together for graduation. This came out on ABC News. And guess who the commencement speaker will be? Trump. (laughs) So much for setting an example, right? So this is CBS, April 25th, 2020, West Point, to bring back a 1,000 cadets for graduation, Trump commencement address. The United States Military Academy at West Point will bring back about a 1,000 cadets to its New York campus for the class of 2020 graduation ceremony on June 13th. President Trump is scheduled to deliver this year's commencement address. Cadets have been away from the campus since March 6, when spring break began, according to the West Point Director of Public Affairs and Communications. Uh, Secretary of the Army Ryan D. McCarthy said in a statement Saturday night that he made the decision to hold the graduation after careful consideration of the steps the Army can take to migrate risk. Um, So I don't know what they're going to do. Seat these people far apart. (laughs) You know, I don't know how they're going to do that. McCarthy said the West Point Um, West Point will communicate the plan for graduation over the next couple of days. The academy is located about an hour from New York City, the epicenter of the United States coronavirus outbreak. I have been up there. It's very nice up there. If you go upstate New York, it's almost like (laughs) it's almost like it's not part of New York. It's so different. You know, a lot of black people live up there, too. I remember when I went up there, I I was much younger. And even then, you know, they had, um, you know, a lot of hotels when you get up there and very scenic, a lot of nice scenery when you're driving upstate. Okay. As the virus took hold in New York state, the school decided to delay the cadets return and they have been attending classes virtually ever since. So they're doing online class, even for the military academy. During a White House Coronavirus Task Force briefing last week, Mr. Trump announced he would be delivering the academy's commencement address this year. I think making the commencement speech, I'm doing it at West Point, which I look forward to. I did it last year. At the Air Force Academy, I did it in Annapolis. I did it at the Coast Guard Academy, and I'm doing it at West Point, Mr. Trump said. Who that man, Ooh, man, that man's verbiage needs a lot of help. And I assume they're, they've got it, and I understand they'll have distancing, and they'll have some big distance. And so it'll be very different than it ever looked. I do like the look. No, I don't. And eventually next year, this is Trump talking. Next year, they'll have a commencement, which will be like it's been like when people like this are great admiral who has done such a great job when he graduated, where he graduated. This is Trump talking. I mean, this man sound like he didn't get past junior high school. Um, When he graduated, where he graduated, me too. We were nice and tight. And that's going to happen again, he said, five days later on April 22nd. West Point issued a press release announcing that the president would serve as its commencement speaker. 
it will be Mr. Trump's first time delivering the school's address after Vice President Mike Pence did last year. We're honored to host the commander in chief as we celebrate the many accomplishments of our graduating class, said Lieutenant General Darrell A. Williams, 60th superintendent of the USMA in West Point press release. The academy, the size and scope of the graduation ceremony would depend on safety considerations. The academy leadership is conducting a thorough analysis and plan for a safe return of the Corps of Cadets, it said. Wow. Yeah, keep your eye on this one, y'all, because a thousand cadets plus their families, oh, there's going to be a lot of sick people, a lot of sick people. Cadets will be subjected to detailed COVID screening, testing, quarantine, and integration plan where they'll be executed out processing commissioning, and pre-officer basic task. Cadets will arrive in small groups, and if they test negative, move back to the dorms where the current CDC and DOD guidance will be followed. Whether or not families can attend the ceremony is undecided. The graduation ceremony will look different from recent graduation ceremonies because of current social health force protection measures. We're considering courses of action that limit family participation. Oh, family's going to be there, y'all. I can't see them going through all of this and they don't bring at least allow some of the immediate family to be there. He said at minimum, the school will provide a broadcast of the ceremony. The graduation will look different from recent graduation ceremonies because of current social health force protection measures. No decisions have been made about when other cadets will be allowed to return to campus or when it will welcome its incoming class. So there you go, y'all. They are moving forward with graduation, bringing about a thousand cadets together in New York of all places. But hey, that's on them, you know? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.